He's an Academy Award winning actor and he is known for his extreme dedication to his characters. Christian Bale has made a name for himself by going through drastic measures in order to sell a performance. Tonight, I, uh, <laughs> I just had <laughs> to kill a lot of people! Christian Charles Philip Bale was born on January 30th, 1974 in Wales. He was first introduced to acting at a young age, starring in commercials and television roles. In 1987, at the age of 13, he was handpicked by Steven Spielberg to star in the movie Empire of the Sun. His performance earned widespread critical praise, but he received negative attention from his schoolmates. And with the divorce of his parents, he considered completely giving up acting. Although later in the years, he would keep on going to star in more movies. In 1992, he starred in the musical Newsies, based on the New York City newsboy strike of 1899. The following year, he played a jazz-loving German teen in Swing Kids, which is about a group of young kids in Nazi Germany who find joy and relief by listening to swing music. It wasn't until the year 2000 that Bale made history with his performance in American Psycho. The story follows Wall Street stockbroker Patrick Bateman as he hides his alternate psychopathic ego from his co-workers and delves deeper into his violent and sadistic fantasies. He slaughters his victims with anything from a chainsaw to an axe. And you better watch out if you have a better business card than him. Look at that subtle off-white coloring. A tasteful thickness of it. Oh my god. It even has a watermark. Bale's friends warned him about how the controversial project might ruin his career. But instead, his groundbreaking performance showed audiences his talent and range and made him the star he is today. Christian Bale continued acting in blockbuster movies and in 2004, he shocked audiences in the psychological thriller The Machinist in which he plays Trevor Resnick, a drill press operator who is unable to sleep for an entire year. Let's have a laugh on Trevor! Zaina! <laughs> Whatever I was paying you, he's wasting his money! Bale lost over 60 pounds for the role. Hey, perfect fit. <sighs> it took a special kind of commitment and sacrifice considering he was on a diet of only one apple and one can of tuna per day. It feels great. It feels like a kind of a victory because I did kind of just emaciate and destroy myself and, you know, to the point where I kind of just watching me run is a joke. In 2005, he was picked by Christopher Nolan to revive the Batman franchise in Batman Begins. Where are you? Here. <laughs> Bale rebuilt his body for the role by gaining 100 pounds in less than a year. In 2006, he re-teamed with Nolan for The Prestige, in which he plays a working-class magician involved in a jealous feud with Hugh Jackman. Never show anyone. They'll beg you and they'll flatter you for the secret, but as soon as you give it up, you'll be nothing to them. That same year, he played US fighter pilot Dieter Dangler in the epic war drama Rescue Dawn, where he struggles to survive during the Vietnam War after his plane gets shot down. Bale was so committed to realism, he performed his own stunts and ate real maggots and worms. <laughs> in 2007, Bale starred in the western 310 to Yuma. He plays a Civil War vet who is charged with escorting an outlaw to his prison transport. I am tired of watching my boys go hungry. I'm tired of the way that they look at me. I'm tired of the way that you don't. In 2008, he again played the role of Batman in The Dark Knight. You wanted me. Here I am. Which made $1 billion at the box office. His dramatic portrayal of Bruce Wayne stands out even alongside great performances like Heath Ledger's Joker. <laughs> I don't, don't want to kill you. In 2010, Bale played trouble former boxer Dickie Eklund in The Fighter, where he helps train his younger brother, played by Mark Wahlberg. He lost weight for the role and even studied Eklund's real-life mannerisms and accent. Who used to be the pride of Lowell, huh? Right here. Who's the pride alone now? Right there. That's how it's meant to be, you know? All his hard work earned him an Oscar for Best Supporting Actor. What a room full of talented and inspirational people, and what the hell am I doing here in the midst of you? In 2012, he reprised the role of Batman in The Dark Knight Rises. 
In this third installment of the Dark Knight trilogy, we see Bruce Wayne face his most overpowering foe, Bane. But he ends up kicking his butt in the end. His next big project was 2013's American Hustle. I mean, he's the one ruling America, not me. How the f am I ruining America? Because people just got over Watergate in Vietnam, all right? And you're gonna all over politicians again? It's just because you want to be a big shot, get a promotion. In this crime drama about deceitful con artists in the 70s, we get to see Bale with a weight gain of 43 pounds and one of the worst comb-overs you've ever seen. With a lot of parts, I've never particularly been asked to do transformations, but you know, you just go, you just get it in your head and you just go, I need to. That's, that's what I need to do. I don't know how to play that part without looking that way. The next year, he played Moses in Exodus, Gods and Kings, set back in 1300 BC. I came here to tell you that something is coming that is out of my control. And in 2015, Bale played Wall Street guru Michael Burry in The Big Short, alongside an all-star cast. Christian Bale has climbed to the top of Hollywood and has thrilled audiences with his intense and dramatic acting. I mean, I guess I'm a pretty sick guy. He's become well known for inhabiting his roles and has set the bar high for up and coming actors. So I don't have any particular kind of film that I can articulate that I like. I just, I just look at, you know, each day very up close, what's in front of me. Do I like it? Does it stick with me? Could I work on it for a few months? That's it. 